Sometimes the description of the knife, you can put a, an image to, and then you work out when it describes what blades go in, so you know what shape of the blade. Or sometimes if they have got a, a little drawing at the side, then you just go with the measurements and build it up. I'm Stephen Cocker. I've been making knives for over 20 years. I uh, like to focus on the old Sheffield patterns. I enjoy making traditional made knives, so everything completely made by hand. If you're wanting a, a handmade knife, I'd like everything to be done especially a Sheffield made knife, I, I'd like to buy something that's everything's done the old way. Nothing's machined, and so making them completely by hand, using techniques, same tools, it was what our ancestors did, and I just wanted to keep that alive because all the people who I knew were getting old, and I thought, well, it's gonna be lost. Yeah, I just enjoy doing it from start to finish. I'll uh, go in my workshop and I enjoy having a pattern that I've like, copied from a book and then I'll make all the parts and I just find it relaxing to making something from what you see in an old pattern book to actually having a, a finished article that you've made knowing using the same techniques and methods that's always been done in Sheffield. When I get home I'll uh, Maybe have an hour in my own workshop, just and I can just unwind and just do my own my own work. My dad used to rent a workshop at Sylvester Works and I just got an interest in making knives, watching the old cutlers at the time, what they were doing. I made my first knife with my dad when I was nine. I was just so interested in it and he always knew I enjoyed making stuff. No matter what it was, I would always wanted to make stuff. A lot of the old cutler says, oh, you don't want to do this as a job because it's, it's a dying job. And I like just went against it and thought, no, I want, I want to it, I want to learn it. And I was about 15, 14, 15, I went to work with Trevor Ablett at Beehive Works. Uh, that's where I met Reg Cooper, various other cutlers. I used to work Saturdays and Sundays for him. I used to go around the old, the old firms, trying to get as much knowledge as I could. I built my own workshop up at home with machines that I'd picked up. Yeah, it was just more than just a job, it was just a passion.
for inlaying the shields, I uh, use a parser, which is a two two legs with two cutouts at the end and a bobbin that goes round and you fit it onto a breastplate and use a bow and it revolves inside a little template to cut out the shield. It's a traditional method that Sheffield's used for hundreds of years. But originally it was said that the Egyptians used it to inlay jewels into tombs. The stiddy uh, is just a smaller version of an anvil. The cutler has stuck in the bench in front of them and it has a little slot for assembling, little divots in for riveting. There's a, like a horn on the front for like, opening knives up. And it's just the correct shape, the correct size for uh, making pocket knives. A friend of mine who used to work at Joseph Elliott's uh, passed it to me and he'd used it previously and he'd been there 60 years and then I've got it but he uh, inherited it by his like, master who then taught who previously taught him so it could be uh, over 200 year old This is the job I like to do and to collect as much what has been lost as I can. If it's there and it's going to be lost, I'd rather it, I'll look after it like be a caretaker of it for a few generations. 
yeah, I always see that the knives that I make will outlive outlive me. Uh, but it's only like the the old knives what have been made 200 years ago. They're still here, and we're still enjoying them, and they're still there for people to see. In another 200 years, hopefully they'll still be there. But along with knives, what what I'll have added to it. <laughs>